Hey, what up everyone? Michael B. Petty here. Sorry this is going to be a little bit late. I had a bit of homework to do when I got home today and an online quiz to turn in and submit. I know this is going to be a little bit later than it has been recently, but you know what? Life happens. You got to do, you got to put your priorities right. You got to do what you got to do right. And that's just what happened. I'm going to be reacting to Amberlynn's getting healthier. We've got five explanation points in this title today. Um, I can only imagine why we're getting healthy. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure I know what it is. Becky has gotten some kind of diagnosis and that's what is causing this whole spur of health kick. Hopefully it's not too little too late, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see until she finally gets over teasing us with all of these little things and just spits it out finally. So without further ado, let's get into the react and I already skipped this cringy ass intro. So let's do this. Hey guys, so welcome to the vlog. I just made Becky some breakfast, apple, cucumber, egg whites with a little bit of Parmesan cheese. <laughs> we got the chair on deck. Um, the thing that I don't understand about a lot of this is why is Amber taking it upon herself to, I mean, I guess it's a nice gesture, but I think that it's her way of, again, controlling what she gets to eat. So I don't know why Becky is a, is putting this on or why Becky is just allowing Amber to do this because it's it's been proven that Amber doesn't know what she's doing. So he's babe. Babe. Where did this vase come from? Oh wait. This is someone else's flowers. I was like, wait a minute. So someone got the same flowers I did. I was so confused. <laughs> Someone got more than what you got, Amber. Someone got someone who actually cared and to just pick something up from um, uh, Walmart on the way home. They actually took some time out of their day and actually planned something out. Also, can we peep the mirror <laughs> in the background? My God. You see that little mirror right there? It's never seen so much in its tiny little life before. Look, those are my flowers. And then someone else got flowers. I was so confused. Okay. All right, babe. Breakfast? is served so i made myself why is she eating something different green. you see this is what i mean when i say this is her way of controlling things again like why couldn't amber just eat what becky ate or what she made for becky like that's very weird to me like oh no amber's gotta have something a little bit unhealthy because she can't handle it or i don't know what it is i would assume that if you had gotten some kind of life altering life whatever changing diagnosis that your partner received you would just go along with it you just go along with the get along gang right but i don't know amber can't have that she's got to be different she's got to be unique what i made myself some frozen green grapes okay that was a tongue twister you for didn't some make those i love my grapes frozen because they taste like candy i don't know and then here we have english muffin sausage egg and there is some cheese. Let's see if we can find it. There we go. Oh, wow. Looks a little messy, but... You it know, looks like okay. one this of those, like... A lean or, like, a healthier version of the Jimmy Dean. Yeah, ones. it's a frozen Jimmy so Dean. So, I've actually never I, she can't, had this before. At least I don't She could have made this. I, have, I, I don't know. But it smells super good. It looks awful. to eat. Y'all. <laughs> Look at wasabi. What are you laying on? styrofoam i'm sorry little baby but that does not look comfy <laughs> but as long as you're happy that poor cat's like never been brushed in its entire <laughs> life so we're about to go take twinkie to the vet oh my god i cannot see twinkie has a vet appointment today finally happy about it but <laughs> after what two years and those fucking gnarled fingernails you're gonna get those fucking things cut too next please please you gotta do what you gotta do and I just wanted to get a little bit of sun. We also have to um, stop by the bank first though, because our rent is due, so we need to pull off that. And yeah, just living the life. Because a lot of people were upset that I was carrying so much money for emergencies in my wallet, so I took everyone's advice into consideration. Girl, kicking and screaming. I mean, come on, God. I, I can't. I can't with this whole, I mean, she pretty much was just, ridiculing her audience for I don't know how long about people 
coming for her for the whole $1,500 on her wallet thing. And it, honestly, it wasn't so much. I mean, if you want to be dumb and carry that much cash around when you're that immobile and you could be easily pickpocketed, then that's your thing. That's But it was the timing of it all. It wasn't. That's not what people were really upset about. People were really upset with the fact that you were doing this at a time when you were like begging for money. So it's like that's what people were more upset about. But keep 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 living your truth. So I no longer have that in my wallet no more. Oh, anymore. Started the car. And Any, is it that is hard to, to try to use rumble. proper grammar? So are we just beyond it now? And I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. Look at that. My fat chin can hold my wallet. So we're in the car that he is at. That's what we're calling it. The bank. Okay, it's supposed to close at four, but the doors are locked. Monday through Thursday, first Oh, no. Okay, do you just want to pull off some of the money in the little side thing? No. So were they having breakfast at, like, 2 p.m.? <laughs> like, is that... So they she, they got up at, like, what, 1 and made breakfast, and they didn't get out of the house to start doing shit until, like, 4 o'clock in the afternoon? I mean, my God. Talk about early bird catches the worm. Apparently, early bird catches the sausage, egg, and cheese McGriddle. And then we'll pull off the rest tomorrow. See, what I don't like about when you go to the ATM, there's like a limit. Right. Our limit is like really low, and I don't know why. So we're gonna probably because you have no credit. Today and tomorrow, <laughs> I would imagine. Is whatever. Dang, I thought they closed at four, but they only close at four on Fridays. I didn't get the memo. God forbid we Googled. I'm glad Twinkie's finally getting to a vet after I'm what. Ooh, she's big. Oh, no, no. It's going to be hard on her heart. Uh, as she gets older, yeah. Would you say around like 13? Um, yeah, that would be ideal. Cause, yeah, because I know for a dog, <laughs> I like the like... way, I kind of like the way that the vet said that. Amber, of course, is going to suggest something because Amber knows everything. But if you notice the inflection in the veterinarian's voice, she was like, Oh, would you say around 13? And the veterinarian is like, yeah, that'd be ideal. Because, I mean, you're you're looking at you're looking at her owners and you're like, wow, this woman's really big. The other partner is also very big. So chances are diets don't really fly in that house. So I bet that veterinarian made the quick thing and was like, um, we'll just say 13 pounds, even though we mean like 11 or 12. Three pounds extra is like 50 for a human. If not yeah. more. How do you know? How would you know, Amber Lynn? Seven. Yeah. That's why I said <laughs> yeah. Yeah. When? When? You let her out like once a day. So we dropped Twinkie off. And now we have to go grocery shopping. I was thinking about getting pumpkins and just like putting marker on it. I'm not sure though. Look at the pretty flowers. So Becky and I are going to get this salad bar. So I'm gonna do mine and I'll show you what I get afterwards. I don't, uh, uh, personally for me, this is a personal preference. I don't trust those salad bars, especially at a fucking Walmart. Like, I'm, I'm not trying to be, like, bougie or anything, but, like, I don't like open, serve-yourself places like that. I just don't, I don't trust people. <laughs> so, like, I don't really want things that have been sitting there for who knows how long, especially somewhere like Walmart. My salad was $7.55. It's actually not bad at all. I mean, for a Walmart salad, I feel like that's kind of... And Becky's was $5. Oh, that's not pH water, cents. girl. So that means mine weighed more than hers. That's not pH water. Not Becky's salad is an actual aesthetic right now. Ooh, that's a cute salad. Wow. That looks really good. I feel like Becky knows what... She... See, that's what I don't understand is, like, I feel like Becky understands, like, food more a little bit better, if that makes sense. Um... I feel like Becky really gets like how flavors kind of interact and how things should kind of look at least. I don't know why you would want someone like Amber to cook your food because she does a piss poor job of it every time. Mine is a little crazy. It's like all it's macaroni. Like a to it. Watch. Okay. God damn. So I didn't use any dressing. 
Where's the like salad, like ma'am? As Zachary Michael would bottom, say. Yes, I promise. Broccoli, feta, turkey, chickpeas. Where's the salad? Egg, carrots, and um, artichoke. Okay, Ugh. see. I promise. There is a ton of spinach on the bottom. Below all the all the. Below the pasta. five so inches of pasta. Ta-da! Okay. So I'm going to take my first bite. Let me put these five spinach yep. leaves on the very top. So there's all the groceries we got. A lot of stuff. Because we needed a lot. Sorry it's dark, but in seven minutes, the new American Horror Story is going to start. I'm so excited. I love this <sighs> season. It's already episode four. There's only going to be ten episodes. Cool. So I'm like kind of sad about that. I'm but, happy for you. Ooh, I'm Each season is only ten episodes so long. It's been a few hours, and we. Isn't, hasn't it been that way for like six seasons? Story, and out of ten, I gave it an eight point five. There was a lot of great. Twists. Put that on IMDb. Let Ryan Murphy know that Amberlynn Reed is going to rate her his his show an eight point five. Last episode, but the episode we watched tonight. There was another one at the end. I'd pay See, good money to watch Ryan have, have watch I've Ryan Murphy react to Amberlyn Reed vlogs. I don't want to give way too much, but I just want to say the season is amazing. Watch the next season. Oh my god, could you imagine the next season of American American Horror Story is like Amberlyn Reed? It's like <laughs> she's like the main, she's like the main villain. <laughs> I can't. She's like she's like this woman that goes around eating everyone. I can't. So we're about to do some comment of the days. And oh, what are we at? Six minutes and 41 seconds? Yeah, that's not long enough for mid rolls, so we gotta let it, we gotta drag it out, I guess. A lot of people actually enjoyed that my last video, I did more than one comment of the day, so I think I'm gonna start doing Can that. Can you just be and real and say you want more money, like, please? Bore anyone to tears. So, comments, plural, of the day. Those comments that put you into such a dark depression, you were thinking of taking your own life. I'm, I'm so glad. I'm so glad we've overcome that. All right, we're going to paste it. High yield ETFs. As per usual. The reason why I show you guys this is because I don't want no one to think I'm like cheating or something. So the last video I uploaded was if you're listening or if you're listening and it has almost 3000 comments. So I'm going to let that load. Okay, that actually happened quicker than usual. So that was fun. Because there's less comments. Laugh face, laugh face, <laughs> because there's laugh less face, people laugh watching face, it. Laugh face, laugh face, no, no one cares. cares. <laughs> so I guess if no one cared, you wouldn't be watching. Oh, so. shit. I don't know. Just my opinion on that one. I went through 10 years of speech therapy and still could use some help. But I can spell and understand pronunciation. I just have some difficulty because I'm half deaf. But I swear to God, she's just stupid. There's an obvious <laughs> difference between when I mess up and immediately re oh, the word shit. correctly. Whereas she just doesn't know LMAO. I mean, it is what it is. I'm not really going to make fun of someone. Um, Girl, so let's not pretend that you're above it, okay? You've done it in the past. Um, I, this person has a legitimate argument here. Amberlynn has said before that she likes to mess up or mispronounce words on purpose because she thinks it's cute and quirky. Um, I think a lot of people are just over it. Okay? Like, when a 30-year-old woman is, like, doing it for to be cute, it's no longer cute anymore. I mean, I understand if it's something that, like, is just a, slick of, a slip of the tongue or, or something like that, but, like, you do this because you think it makes you quirky. So way that they speak i just think it's kind of ironic that you'd make fun of someone else who has a little bit of a weird speech situation happening you don't that's have a speech situation happening you're just dumb I, that's what she's saying you weren't you didn't have some kind of you weren't born half deaf like this commenter you don't have some kind of issue with your voice box or with your tongue or you don't have any of those things you choose to be dumb you are willfully ignorant that's different true like i don't pronounce everything correctly you guys know that and i do not do it on purpose a lot of people think i do and i don't know why i don't really know so you next. do you've said in the past you do What's it on purpose no salt did you go to a doctor and you have high blood pressure or cholesterol is high is that what you're going through no, that is not it at all. Um, I didn't go to a doctor who said I have high blood pressure or high cholesterol. Um, I will say, though, I think it's been about over a year 
where they said I have semi high blood pressure but it wasn't like enough to be put on a medicine or anything and I do not have high cholesterol. Okay, I may be misremembering this, but I am pretty positive that when she went and saw that doctor, they put her on blood pressure medication. I feel like I remember them saying that. So if I can find that clip, I'll put it in. But I've always, always, always had a little bit of an elevated high blood pressure. It's never been super high. That's something I've never experienced. Besides, when I was on a weight loss pill called Phentermine, mm, that's the only time my blood pressure has been stroke level. But I've always had elevated blood pressure. And again, today, it was elevated. And I got my blood pressure taken today while, <laughs> after I was done walking, while I was <sighs> huffing and puffing, um, and it was elevated. So I, I guess I can't really say that that's technically bad news because it's always been like that. It's always been just the teensy tiniest elevated, but every time I've gone to like a doctor or I've gone to the ER or just whatever reason I've gotten my blood pressure taken, I've never been diagnosed medicine. They've always told me, you know, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. And today I was diagnosed a high blood pressure medicine, which for me was pretty eye-opening. So no, this is not what I'm going through. I'm pretty sure she was put on blood TLC, pressure medication. Or she claimed. Maybe Dr. Now can talk some sense into you. Maybe. Um, <laughs> actually, they've contacted me a few times. And at first I was like, nah, I don't want to do it. And then eventually I was like, yeah, I do want to do it. But they don't really want me. So Probably because they see how really ungrateful you are. <laughs> you can buy egg whites by the carton at Walmart. True that. Yes, yes, yes. I've actually had them before, Yes. They don't taste as good. They taste the same. Like they taste very similar. Natural egg whites that you natural get from egg whites from the actual egg. So I don't because the ones that are in the carton are unnatural or something. <laughs> it's the same thing, dog. They're just chem they're just mechanically processed so that there's no there's no yolks in it, so it's easier. Never buy those again. Becky is sick. Becky has to lose weight. We yep. already figured it out. Maybe yep. with all this healthy cooking, you will drop some weight as well. <laughs> your lips Without to oil. God's ears. Those donuts while you were making eggs is a clear sign that your weight is here to stay. Gonna blame that on okay, someone else, so I'm sure. For everyone that's assuming things about Becky, I would just say assumptions and rumors are not always true. Okay, when you come on here and you act like a fucking idiot and you're like some narcissist manipulator who like loves to get off on the sympathy and like be vague and vague book and shit like that, people are going to make assumptions. People are going to speculate. People are going to make up rumors. I don't know why. You can literally just say Becky is sick, so we have to change our diet. That's all you have to say. You don't have to like go into her diagnosis or what's wrong or what her blood cell counts are and all that stuff. Like you don't have to say any of that stuff. I think it's very interesting that you're willing to come on here and exploit Norma's sickness or her cancer diagnosis for money and all that stuff. But like when something is actually happening to the people on the fucking vlog, now it's a hush hush thing. Like it's so weird. It's all for attention. So, like this whole thing, you guys have no idea what you're talking about. And I'm totally cool with that. Like rumors will be rumors. So when it says I'm totally bothered, I'm totally cool. This is a clear sign that your weight is here to stay. I just want to let everyone know that I do live with other people. And we actually had quite a few people. Apparently, y'all don't talk very much either. So we've had Eric has family visiting. I've had friends visiting. And I'm just going to let you know right now, those donuts are not mine. <laughs> so. But that won't stop I mean, you from I eating it. Had a sweet thing in ages, it feels like. So. Okay, girl. We'll let and you believe in that. We'll let you believe that delusion. Uh, Nicola Western, DM me. I want to know the tea. <laughs> uh, my name feels weird. I'm doing better. It might only be a little bit more each day. What? But better is still better. The meds I'm on definitely help, though. Why are we reading this out loud? You should cut this out. This is very weird. This is why I can't follow through. Yay. I'm happy that your medicine is making you feel better. Mine also is, too. So yeah, that's why you've been laying in bed all day crying. Sign for the both of us. Too bad. Really you don't believe really in therapy. She's cooking at home. Thank you. I am, too. Um, I feel a lot better. I have been moving more. I have been leaving the house more. I feel like my stamina has gotten better more. I'm losing weight. And I just feel all around better for sure. I have. It's been like two days. <laughs> I, that's the thing is like, 
it's been two days. Like, literally, it was like, what, two vlogs ago? We saw you eating the dumplings with the Singapore rice noodles and the rice. And then we saw the cereal. Like, girl, stop. And then we also know that you ate a bunch more that day because we saw the clothes. So I don't know what you're going on about. An 11-month-old, and she has more sense than Amber at this point. True. Cute. Okay. Okay, so it looks like this is someone replying to a comment. So I'm going to skip that one. Let me talk really slow so we can, can get to ten minutes. Situation you are. That is your opinion, right? So and it's probably the right one. So, this is the last one I'm going to read. We've hit the ten we minute mark. We're depression constantly talking about how you are in a deep depression. Your depression has been acting up, and now when it's convenient, you say you're not depressed. Stick to a story. Stop, Stop trivializing. Amen. So yeah, a I fucking have men. Through a horrible depression it's very true but as you guys know i have been seeing a psychiatrist for i think it's been about five or six months now give or take and nothing's she improved <laughs> and she increases my dosage when she feels like it's appropriate and the reason why i went to see her it's because everyone else so sees her so it's easy i feel less <laughs> depressed so i could figure out what was wrong with me and that's what happened we figured it out. We talk about it. She put me on a medicine, and it's working. And how though? Like you, you just said in your last vlog, you just talked about how you were gonna lay in bed all day. So like, is it really working? It's interesting. Like she has these like, I don't even, I don't even think, I don't even think they're that that opposite. It's like to me, it's very stagnant in a way. But like, she has these like little moments of like. I mean, I guess being a little up or whatever, or like going about and doing things, but like you've been consistently stagnant for a while now. So I don't know where this idea that you're like mirac miraculously better when you were literally crying over dumplings two videos ago. If you want to say that I am trying to trivialize, trivialize, then that's on you because I'm not, I'm, that's, anything, that's, like, on like, wow, that's on you. That's on you. You're feeling so much better. It's been a day. It's been a fucking day. <laughs> How are they supposed to know you're feeling better in the last video you were crying? Instead of trying to say that, like, I've lied about being depressed or that I'm only saying because it's convenient. No, I'm just letting you know that the pill is actually working for me. And that was the How? whole point. And why I went to see a psychiatrist. I hate that. She's such a wow. gaslighter, dude. That was a lot of comments. I don't know if I want to read that many every night. Because you guys can be brutal. And that's just like how life, life is. Like everyone has an opinion. And it's always like a really horrible opinion. But it's because it's your channel, dog. It's because of this is the this is the comment section you foster. This is the audience you've gained. No, I don't think I, I honest to God, I don't really think people are going to be that nice to you. I, I even if you do a miraculous change, <laughs> I'm going to end this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. That was interesting. We didn't really learn much in that video. I, I don't know why that she can't just come out and say like verbatim, like this is what's going on. Becky has been diagnosed with something and we have to change our lifestyle because we have to get her healthy. I don't know why it's so hard for her to say that. I think it's because she honestly does get off on the imp the people questioning and she gets off on the sympathy. I think that's really ultimately what it all comes down to. So I don't feel that bad for her. I don't, this is what kind of happens when you do things like this, when you eat to such an extent and so unhealthy. I mean, they said they were eating three times, eating out three times a day. And this is what can happen. Like, and I think now they're in panic mode because they got some news that was very jarring and very negative. And so this is what they're trying. They're trying to fix it. And they're trying to quick fix it. And that's why they're going so far the other way now. When before they could have just made slight ch slight changes over a progress or uh, over an extended period of time and gotten there in a much easier way. I do, I think now now they're just like overcorrecting, right? And so I don't think that that is going to be sustainable. I don't think for someone like Amberlynn, it can be sustainable. Maybe for Becky, it can be if she supposedly lost these 40 pounds. That's another thing that's interesting to me, too, is like she was just gloating about this weight loss. And it's like, well, how the fuck did she like lose this weight and then like get sick? Like what happened? Was she losing weight because she got sick then? Was she still eating the same amount of food that she was eating and then she got sick? And then so she went to the doctor and was and that's what was causing the weight loss. I don't know. 
I guess we'll never know because we're never going to get told the truth. So eh, it is what it is. Um, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, toodles.